guys good morning and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new since i work full time i thought it would be cool to see what i usually do on a sunday just get ready for the new week because let me tell you it's a long week half the time i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below as of right now it is currently like 9 30 a.m i woke up about an hour ago all i've done since waking up is feed my animals i feed the stray cats outside so i made sure to give them food and water i fed my cats that are inside and then i fed my dogs they're all good to go my dogs are out in the backyard playing around now it's time for me to go to the gym i've been slacking on going to the gym ever since i got laser eye surgery if you guys want to see the process of me getting laser eye surgery it's the last video i posted so make sure to go watch that because i literally recorded me being in the actual surgery room and everything ever since then i have kind of been slacking on going to the gym because a doctor said that i was not allowed to work out for a week because they don't want your blood pressure to rise and so I guess somehow it can affect your eyes so I wasn't able to work out for a week and I had been so consistent before that I was going like five times a week it just like put me back as if I never started I hate when that happens as soon as I get consistent going to the gym I feel like something happens like I go on vacation I get depressed and then I fall off again and then I have to go back on re-motivate myself and it's just like ugh. It's hard always re-motivating yourself because for me, going to the gym does not come naturally. It's not something I enjoy doing all the time. Don't get me wrong, I do love going to the gym, but there's days where I literally would rather lay in bed doing absolutely nothing. The gym is the farthest thing from my mind. But I'm forcing myself to go because I only went one time this week. I don't want to lose all the progress that I've made before my eye surgery. I just need to like force myself to go and kind of like get back into the swing of things i think i'm gonna just do legs and i don't know if i'm gonna do arms or if i'm gonna save that for tomorrow or tuesday because i kind of just want to get in there and get out and i'll try to get some clips while i'm there honestly i'm kind of like shy to vlog inside the gym because there's usually a lot of people at planet fitness i'm not gonna bring my camera so it'll be on my phone if i get any i also made myself an iced coffee this morning I made like a peppermint ice mocha i guess you would say and it's pretty good. I'm just about to head out the door and I will see you guys in a minute. You know my nigga young guy makes laugh at Elefante, he saw. Let Betty go if the punk bitch broke. Cause Neffy don't give a fuck about no hope. All black tea, blue jeans, like you hopping out the vans, old school. Ha! Keep bitch shit, yeah, Whoa. plug my wrist lit, hey. plug my bitch rich Bitch on frostbite, Whoa. where the man's look like headlights, Whoa. this the boss life hey. yeah. Pull up and shoot pull shit, and yeah, shoot. I like the roof and shit, the yeah, roof. trap out the roof quick, oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all fly nigga, they like, he so handsome yeah, Plug my wrist lit, hey. plug my bitch hey. rich, my bitch. yeah, I'm a big Hi guys, I just got back in my car. Um, I did get some clips of me in the gym, so you'll have seen that already. I feel so good right now. And it's so true what people say that you never regret working out. It's like the hardest part is getting there and actually doing the exercises. And I didn't go too hard today. I figured because I'm still barely like coming back to the gym, like I need to take it a little bit easier than I normally would. I didn't want to like overdo myself because one, when you overdo yourself, it makes you like unmotivated to come back because you're just like, fuck, like I hate my life right now, you know? And then two, like, I don't want to pull anything. I don't want to sprain anything and just be like back to square one. I did start getting tired towards the end. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but bitch, I was quivering. They were shaking. I thought I was going to collapse on the floor and I'm still catching my breath right now. But um, yeah, I definitely feel good. I'm glad that I came because I would have been so upset with myself if I didn't come today because I would have been like, damn bitch, she only went to the gym once this week. But right now I'm just gonna be on my way home. I'm sorry about like the angle of the camera. I'm in my car and I don't have a camera stand. You guys are like on my steering wheel right now. Hopefully my mom is home by the time I get there because I asked her if she could help me walk my dog. If she's home, then I'm gonna walk them right now. But if not, then I'm going to shower and get out of my dirty, nasty clothes and get ready because I want to go to Marshall's. I went yesterday, but I didn't find what I was looking for. So I'm going to try to go to a different one in a nice area. 
and see if I can find what I'm looking for. I recently found out that Marshalls carries True Religion and Kappa and like a lot of high-end um, brands. So I didn't know this before, but I did go to Marshalls a few weeks ago and I found True Religion pants and I found Kappa shorts. But then I tried them on and I didn't like how they fit. So I was like, oh, like I better not waste my money buying something that I don't know if I'm for sure gonna wear, you know? So I left them all there at the store and I low-key regret it because when I went yesterday, I didn't see anything that was True Religion or Kappa. I'm thinking I could go to the True Religion store also because I think they're having a sale because the holidays are coming up. So I'm thinking about going to the True Religion store. I'll just get back to you guys when I get home and I'll update you guys with what I'm doing. I'm officially back home. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit funky. I have like a sun thingy in my kitchen and it just like throws off the lighting in here. But anyways, I am about to make my protein shake and I just thought I would show you guys, you know, what protein powder I use. One of my favorite protein powders is this Orgain Organic Protein and this one is the chocolate one. I've also tried the vanilla one. It, the vanilla one's good too, but I prefer the chocolate one um, just because I feel like it goes with more things. But guys do not try the strawberry one please save your money and do not buy this one i went to costco which is where i get my protein powder and you can get it at like gnc and like online and stuff too or like even at walmart they sell it i went to costco and they had the strawberries and cream flavor and in my head i was like oh my god like it's gonna taste like a strawberry milkshake like i love strawberry milkshakes so that's why i got it and just just put it back that's all i'm gonna say put it back save your money because i actually plan on returning this and i know that might be weird to some people to return protein powder but costco has a really good return policy so they have like a hundred percent like satisfaction guarantee so i'm not satisfied bitch give me my money back so i can buy the chocolate one for my protein shakes what i like to do is use almond milk i don't really drink regular dairy milk i'm plant-based so i me and dairy milk just don't really go together i do eat cheese and i do drink stuff with dairy in it but me drinking dairy by itself is enough i just use about eight what's half of i use about 12 ounces of almond milk and then i add a half of a banana you can buy like the already frozen bananas but i just i prefer the taste of bananas that i have frozen myself so I don't know why I feel like the ones that are already like pre-frozen like taste a little bit weird to me. And then I take two scoops of the protein powder. Another thing that I like to do or like add to my protein shakes is peanut butter powder. But Costco for some reason is always out of stock of the peanut butter powder that they usually have in stock. But oh my gosh, if you can find it at your Costco, buy it. You can add it to your protein shakes and it's like a Reese's Pieces smoothie and it tastes so good. But because I don't have the peanut butter powder, I am just going to add some Justin's honey peanut butter. And I'm just going to scoop some of this into my shake. Okay guys, so my mom actually just got home and we're probably gonna walk the dogs in a little bit. Oh, look what the wind dragged in. Hello. He's still out here walking, going to the park. I just got out of the shower. I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on and then put some mousse in my hair so that way it's a little bit styled. My hair is more on the wavy side. It's like wavy straight. It's not like super wavy, but it does have a little bit of um, wave to it. So I've been trying to figure out what the best method is to like kind of wear my hair natural. Got these two products at Walmart. I really like this stuff. It just adds kind of like some like oil to your hair without like doing too much you know i'm gonna put it a little bit on my hand so that i can put it on my ends because we don't want breakage with the mousse this is my first time using this mousse so i'll let you guys know if i end up liking this method i'm just gonna comb it through my hair first i guess and then i'll scrunch it after and then for makeup i'm just gonna put on some mascara 
some eyeliner and then just fill in my brows a little bit. I don't know how much you're supposed to put. I just want it to stay. You can see my hair is not super curly but it is a little bit wavy once it dries i think it'll curl up a little bit more or wave up i guess i should say because my hair is not curly it's wavy so now i'm gonna put on some makeup let's start with eyebrows i'm gonna use my morphe eyebrow pencil I'm literally gonna do like the bare minimum i'm just gonna fill it in so that they don't look so like bushy because i'm letting my eyebrow hair grow out a little bit before i get them done again they're looking a little rough I'm just gonna take some concealer put up my brows So now I'm just going to blend out the concealer. So there's my eyebrows. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes just to brighten them up because I get really dark circles under my eyes and I don't know why. Blend it out with my finger. I'm not gonna set it because this concealer pretty much dries down on its own anyway. Now I'm gonna, I think it's called tight line where I'm gonna put it like on the top, you know? There's that eye. Now I'm gonna put some eyeliner on the top of my eye. So that's the eyeliner. And now for mascara. For the bottom lashes, I'm going to use this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is a waterproof one. The reason I use a different mascara on the bottom is because for some reason, if I don't use a waterproof mascara on the bottom lashes, in a few hours, I'll start to get like black residue from the mascara like underneath my eye and no one ever tells me about it and I just walk around with like black under eyes looking like a raccoon. For my lips, I'm going to put on some lip liner. This is the... NYX matte lip liner in the shade Sandstorm. Oh shit. It's kind of similar to my lip shade already. Does anybody else feel like their lip shade changes? Because some days I feel like my lips are like really pink by themselves and then other days they're like super pale. I'm just gonna add some lip gloss on top and this is the Victoria's Secret Frozen Pear Lip Gloss. So this is my finished look, you know, it's nothing too much. It's pretty much just a little bit of eyeliner, mascara, and some lip gloss, and a little bit of concealer because your girl got dark under eyes. And then my hair, it's drying. My hair dries pretty fast, but um, you guys will see in later clips if it, you know, holds or not. This is my fit, just something casual and comfortable. Is the booty poking? Not really. So now that I'm finished getting ready, let's go to Marshall's. So, we're at Marshalls. I've actually never been to this Marshalls, but I guess it's a Home Goods and a Marshalls in one. But they have so much stuff here. It's crazy. This place is huge. And then here's the rugs. Isn't this place huge? Hi guys, so as you can see, I am back home. I believe the last clip that I filmed was uh, at the mall. We were in the food court and we were just eating. After that, we went to the True Religion store and I didn't get any clips of us going in there because I didn't want them to like, you know, I still get a little bit shy so I didn't film in there. But I did end up buying two pairs of jeans. We're gonna see if these jeans fit. So the first pair of jeans that I got was these ones right here and they have this backside and they're the Genie Curvy Mid-Rise Skinny. I thought I got a 27, but I guess I got a 26. So, we'll see. And then I also got the black jeans. Not too much going on there, but these are the Jenny Mid-Rise Super Skinny. So, I'm going to try these on and I'll show y'all what they look like. These are a little tight. Oh, 
they're very tight. <laughs> yeah, I, I, they're tight as fuck. <laughs> I literally asked them, I was like, okay, I'm a size six in women's. What's the size six in women's? And they told me it was a 26. These are a 27 and they're hella fucking tight. If these go in the dryer one time, I will never be able to wear these again. But they look really good if I'm not gonna lie. My room's a little bit of a mess, so please excuse the mess. So these are the jeans. I mean, they do look good. I definitely need to go up a few sizes. I'm about to try the other pair on. Pretty sure they're not gonna fit, but sometimes different color jeans fit differently. Like if you get light wash jeans, those are gonna fit differently than dark wash jeans versus black jeans and so on. Oh God, these are worse for sure. I had to suck it in just to button it right now. They are really cute though, oh my goodness. So please ignore my lojas that are about to freaking fall out of these jeans. But look how cute they are. Aren't they so nice? I prefer mid jeans, mid rise jeans. They say they, they're mid rise, but they're fucking not mid rise. This is not mid rise, bro. These are both gonna have to go back to the store. They're way too small. Now we know I'm not a 27, that's for sure. I think I'm probably a 30, 8 to 9, 30. Yeah, that's three sizes bigger. I'm probably even like a 31 because I had to like jump to get in these pants. I'm probably gonna return them and then I'll wait for Black Friday to see if um, they have a better sale. <laughs> hey guys so it is a little bit later than when you last seen me i basically just went on my phone put on some pajamas this is a onesie that my friend bought me it's from walmart i believe it's like the nightmare before christmas onesie super comfortable super cute i just put it on laid in bed and i was on tiktok for a little bit and i recorded a few tiktok videos now i just think you know it's pretty much the end of my night i'm gonna wash my makeup off in a little bit and just pretty much end my night here i have to go to work tomorrow in the morning right now i heated up some tamales i got the tamales from costco they're actually surprisingly good you know obviously homemade is always better but for being from costco they're actually really good i got the cheese and green chili ones so like the tamales that i have so if you have a costco around you go check it out it's like 20 dollars for the whole thing but they're actually really good and me i i don't like to cook so anything that's easy to make sign me up i might have a bowl of cereal later if i get hungry because it's only about 8 p.m only 7 17 right now so if i get hungry later i'm probably gonna have like a bowl of honey nut cheerios or something like that and i'm just gonna go to sleep i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other videos you guys would like to see and make sure to check out my other videos if you're new here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of you in my next video bye